everybody! Welcome! I'm so excited to see you here today. My name is Miss Gianna. And I'm Miss Elaine. We're so glad to be with you today, but we've got one other friend who wants to join us because we're going to listen to a Bible story. Who likes to join us for a Bible story? Do you remember his name? That's right. It's Hamilton. And Hamilton is a hedgehog. And we know hedgehogs can get a little scared if it's too loud. So let's make sure we call him in our gentle voice, like the voice I'm using right now. Are you ready? One, two, three. Hamilton, I think he's coming. Hamilton, there you are. Oh. Uh, hi, buddy. How are you? Oh, Hamilton, you look very tired. Did we wake you up? <laughs> oh, he was having a nap. But I like your blanket, Hamilton. Is this part of our big God story clue? I think it is. And where would we find the big God story, Hamilton? Do you know? Right here? In this Bible? That's right. Hamilton likes to dig, dig, dig in the Bible because this is God's Word and it tells us all about Him and all about His Son Jesus and how much they both love us so much. So let's get ready to listen to our Bible story. Have everybody stand up and we'll sing our Bible song. Now it's time to hear God's Word, hear God's Word, hear God's Word. Now it's time to hear God's Word, so let's look in the Bible. There once was a boy named Samuel, and Samuel lived at the temple, which is kind of like a church. And when Samuel lived at the temple, he learned under a man named Eli. Eli was his teacher. You can see him there. Well, one night, Samuel went to sleep. And while he was sleeping, he heard someone call his name. They said, Samuel, Samuel, and he woke up. Hey, I think we figured out Hamilton's clue. I bet while Samuel was sleeping, he had a blanket, kind of like this. Well, when Samuel heard someone calling his name, he went and found Eli, and he said, here I am, what do you want? And Eli said, I didn't call you, go back to bed. So Samuel went back to sleep. And while he was sleeping, he heard someone call his name again. They said, Samuel, Samuel, and he woke up and he went to Eli and he said, do you know? Here I am, you called me. And Eli said, I didn't call you, go back to bed. So Samuel went back to sleep. And again, he heard someone call his name, Samuel, Samuel. So he got up and he went to go see Eli. He said, here I am, you called me. Who do you think was calling Samuel? I think you might be right. I think it was God. Well, Eli figured it out too. And he said, Samuel, I wasn't calling you. But the next time you hear someone call, say, speak God, I am listening. So Samuel went back to bed and he heard someone call his name, Samuel, Samuel. And this time he said, Speak, God, I am listening. And you know what? God did talk to him. God had lots of things that he needed to say to Samuel. And he used Samuel to give a special message to Eli. You know what? God still speaks to you and to me. He can speak to us when we're praying, when we're worshiping him, when we're just going throughout our day. He wants to have a relationship with you and with me. And so we just need to say, Speak, God, I'm listening. Let's pray together and thank God that he wants to talk to us. Dear God, thank you that you love us and that you want to talk to us. Speak, God, we're listening. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's do our memory verse together. You shall love the Lord your God 
with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And that's Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. Let's do that all together. Okay. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. Wow! Good job, everybody. You're so good at your memory verse. And remember, when we love God with all of our heart, our soul, and our might, we learn to hear Him when He speaks. And that's what we were learning today. God speaks. Can you say that? Ready? God speaks. Good job. Now that's all we have for today. So remember, God loves you so much. And we do too.